All right, guys, so I'm here laying in my hammock. Uh, I had a, a harebrained bonehead idea, and uh, and I carried out carried it out, and I'm testing it right now. And uh, it turns out it wasn't so bad after all. It works. Um, so let's talk about it. I was thinking about knots. I was thinking about how I love to use slippery knots that you just, you know, you pull the tag end out, the knot's gone, there's no you know, working the knot or un all that stuff, you know, you just pull the tag in and the knot's gone and you're gone. So uh, that's the, the kind of knots I like to use. That's mostly what I do use uh, when I'm camping. Um, I can't think of any knot that I, that I tie on a regular basis that is not slippery in some way and I, and I can't untie it. And then I was thinking about the Marlin Spike Hitch. And, uh, and how similar it was to a trucker's knot and how it is basically a trucker's knot with just a toggle in it. Um, not sure where the name come up, came from. That's probably, you know, somebody could do the research on that if they haven't already. But um, so, and then of course the mantra ran through my mind when you're using your whoopee sling, you make sure the sling is resting on the knot and not on the toggle. So I was thinking, well, then why is the toggle absolutely necessary except for just an, an added piece of uh, security I guess and and I couldn't think of any reason why it would be because you know having tied the knot plenty of times both the trucker's hitch and the marlin spike hitch I can see where pulling down from the top it's not going anywhere so I said well I'm going to try it and I did and it worked so let me uh, let me get up from here and, and show you show you what I came up with Okay, just so you know, I'm not, uh, you know, pulling a fast one. Here's me laying in the hammock. Okay, so there's the knot, the Marlin spikeless hitch, or just a trucker's knot that my whoopee sling laying on. And on this end, I did use a toggle. And uh, now I'll go ahead and get up and show it to you. So the head in first, I did use a toggle down here because uh, I, I didn't want to try it on both ends, uh, you know, just blindly. But the toggle's there. You can see it's, you know, everybody's everybody that uses this system is familiar with that. So we go down the hammock, come to the other end. And this end, this is where the toggle would be, and there's no toggle. Uh, and you see the notch is laid on the hitch. Now, also... It's sort of precarious because you can see the opening here and it'd be very easy to jostle it especially if you weren't in the hammock and it slipped down a little bit and it may still I mean it may still be on it may still be resting there but it might not be on the knot well and then you get in the hammock and of course and and it just pops off but uh, I also came up with uh, I started thinking about okay what can I do to make this most more secure um, but still use a spikeless hitch. And so I remember that a while back I had seen one of Professor Hammock's videos, also known as Grizzly Adams on the forums. And he, uh, he had a little whipping knot or blocking knot uh, that he tied and it could slide up and down. And so you could slide that up there and, uh, and cinch that up. And then, and then it just, you know, that would be good to go. So I went and found that video and I'll show you what I came up with so here it is uh, I, I went in I had another whoopee sling laying around and I just simply tied this uh, whipping knot onto it and you can see it easily adjusts it slides up and down and um, but once you once you set it there's no good reason for it to come off come off of there until you you know until you pull it back off so uh, that should hold on on there pretty good. And now what I'll do is I'll just I'll just go through um, I'll just go through tying it from scratch and uh, and show you how I how I did it. And then you know you can use your own judgment on whether you want to try it or not. It's just all it is is another option, and that's 
like I said, I've always said this is one thing I love about hammocking. All the different options. You can tailor everything to suit your needs. There's no good reason to leave the, the toggle out unless maybe, you know, you get you get to your uh, campsite at night and it's dark and, you know, you don't feel like fumbling around to find a stick or, you know, you forgot if you have pre-made toggles, you left them at home and, uh, you know, whatever. It's uh, it's an option and uh, it's it's a good thing to, to know that it's, it's possible to do, it, you know, if you come to a situation where you need it. So I'll go through tying the knot. Real quick, real quick before I go through tying the knot, I uh, just wanted to show you untying it. And, you know, it's just like a marlin spike hitch. You just pull the knot out, the slippery hitch. It's, uh, that's the way I like to do it. Like I said, I love the slippery hitches. So now I'm going to tie it. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and tie the marlin spikeless hitch. And it's, uh, it's not a big secret. All you do is tie your marlin spike hitch without a toggle or also known as a trucker's hitch. So just go ahead, bring it up, bring your loop through, cinch that down. I like to, for this purpose, I like to leave a generous amount of loop pulled through and uh, pull it, you know, pull it but not real tight. And then go get the end of your hammock. So you've got the end of your hammock. Just pass that over the back of the knot. Pull the excess through the loop there. And then go ahead and pre-tension it with, you know, by pulling on it. And slide your knot up. And your hammock's hung. So I'll go ahead and, uh, I'll go ahead and switch over and, and have a seat. So you can see my hammock's hung. I have it, uh, I have my whipping knot cinched down there to keep it on the trucker's hitch or marlin spike, spikeless hitch, whichever you prefer. Other end still the same as it was. I'm gonna go ahead and, and sit down in the hammock. And, um, lay down and that's all there is to it it's uh like I said it's an option so you know for you brave souls out there that uh, march to the beat of a different drummer sort of like I do at times uh, give it a try uh, or don't as, as the case may be but uh, it's good to know that there are options